Welcome to Listify Top. Have you ever wondered what sets highly effective people apart from the rest of the crowd? What habits and practices do they follow to achieve their goals and reach new heights of success? If you're curious about the answers to these questions, keep watching this video to discover the key list of lessons to learn from the 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People is a book written by Stephen Covey, which has sold over 25 million copies worldwide and been translated into 40 languages. In this book, Covey lays out a framework for personal and professional success based on seven habits that he identified after years of research and experience. These habits are not only applicable to business leaders, but also to anyone seeking to improve their life and achieve their goals. In the following sections, we will delve into the key list of lessons to learn from these habits. Habit 1. Be Proactive. Being proactive is the first habit of highly effective people, according to Stephen Covey. It's about taking responsibility for your own life and actions, and not simply reacting to the world around you. When someone is proactive, they focus on things that are within their control and take action to make positive changes. An example of being proactive is someone who wants to improve their physical health. Instead of waiting until they have a health problem to address it, they take steps to prevent issues from arising. They may start a regular exercise routine, eat a healthy diet, and get regular checkups with their doctor, even if they feel fine. By being proactive, they take control of their health and prevent potential problems before they occur. Habit 2. Begin with the end in mind. It means that before starting any project or task, you must have a clear vision of the final outcome that you want to achieve. For example, let's say you own a small business and you want to increase your customer base. To begin with the end in mind, you should have a clear vision of what success looks like. This could mean increasing your customer base by a certain percentage within a specific time frame, or achieving a certain revenue level. Once you have this vision in mind, you can start working backwards and break down the steps necessary to achieve your goal. You can create a marketing plan, identify target customers, and implement strategies to attract and retain them. Habit 3. Put first things first. It means to prioritize things based on their importance and urgency. This habit emphasizes the importance of time management and ensuring that the most important things are done first. For example, a student who is preparing for exams should prioritize studying and completing assignments over watching TV or going out with friends. They should create a study schedule, allocate enough time to each subject, and focus on completing tasks on time. This way, they can achieve good grades and excel in their academics. Habit 4. Think Win-Win. It means that individuals should always strive to create solutions that provide mutual benefits to themselves and others. It emphasizes the importance of finding synergies and cooperation rather than competition, and the idea that when one party wins, everyone wins. An example of think win-win can be a negotiation between a buyer and seller. Suppose a buyer is looking to purchase a product from a seller, but the seller is asking for a price that the buyer considers too high. In a win-win scenario, the buyer and seller would work together to reach a mutually beneficial agreement that satisfies both of their needs. The buyer might propose a lower price that is still profitable for the seller, while the seller might offer additional benefits such as volume discounts or upgraded product features to make the deal more attractive to the buyer. Habit 5. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. This habit stresses the importance of listening and empathizing with others' perspectives before trying to convey our own thoughts and ideas. An example of this could be a difficult conversation between two co-workers. Suppose one of the co-workers is upset because they feel like their ideas aren't being heard in their team meetings. The other co-worker, before jumping in with their own ideas or dismissing their colleagues' concerns, would first seek to understand by actively listening to them and asking questions to clarify their perspective. By doing so, they identify the root of the problem and can work together to find a solution that works for everyone involved. Habit 6. 
synergize. This habit encourages people to work together and achieve something greater than anything they could accomplish individually. Synergizing is about recognizing and understanding the strengths and weaknesses of others, in order to collaborate effectively and achieve common goals. It is about celebrating diversity and building strong relationships, both internally and externally, to achieve success. One real-life example of synergy is the partnership between Apple and Nike. In 2006, the two companies joined forces to create the Nike Plus iPod Sport Kit. This kit allowed runners to track their workouts using their iPods and Nike shoes, and make improvements based on their data. The partnership worked because Apple specialized in technology while Nike had expertise in sportswear. Together, they were able to create a product that satisfied both aspects, and their collaboration was highly successful. Habit 7. Sharpen the saw. This habit refers to the practice of taking time to renew oneself on physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels to improve overall well-being and productivity. This habit emphasizes the importance of self-care, as it helps individuals perform better in all areas of their lives. An example of sharpening the saw could be a person taking a vacation to recharge their batteries after a long period of work or stress. During their time off, they may engage in activities that promote physical health, such as hiking, swimming, or yoga, to improve their physical well-being. They may also take time to pause and reflect on their mental and emotional state, journaling or meditating to reduce stress and improve their emotional well-being. Through this practice of taking care of themselves, they can return to work or other aspects of their life with a greater sense of clarity, focus, and motivation. This allows them to be more effective in their work and more present in their personal life, ultimately leading to greater success and fulfillment. Now that you know the key list of lessons to learn from the seven habits of highly effective people, it's time to put them into action. Take some time to reflect on your own habits and identify areas where you can improve. Consider incorporating these habits into your daily routine and see how they can help you achieve greater success in your personal and professional life. Don't wait around for opportunities to come your way, create your opportunities by taking action and following these seven habits. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. See you all in the next one.